OpenAI'in ChatGPT 4.0 güncellemesinden sonra dün de Google yeni yapay zeka cicilerini bize sundu. Oldukça etkileyici bir sunumdu ama borsanın tepkisi çok olumlu olmadı. Sunumdan 12 dakikalık bir kesil silsesinin altyazısını ekledim Türkçe olarak ve sizlerle paylaşıyorum. Onu mutlaka izlemenizi isterim ama birkaç yorum yapmak isterim. Birincisi hakikaten etkileyici bir sunumdu. Çok fazla enteresan yenilik var. Mesela yeni bir video editörleri var. Vio isimli çok etkileyici gözüküyordu. Metinden görsel sele dönüştüren Dol E'nin rakibi olacak Imagine 3 diye bir yapıları var. Arama motorunda epey değerim yapmışlar. Arama motorun içerisine bir yapay zeka ajanı yerleştirmişler ve size çok kişiselleşmiş hizmetler sunabiliyor. Bir yandan Gemini Pro'yu 2 milyon tokuna çıkarıp herkese açıyorlar. Böylece ChatGPT ile direkt rekabet etmeye çalışıyorlar. Google'un kendi ürünleri olan Sheets gibi, Docs gibi bir takım Microsoft rakiplerine Microsoft'un Copilot entegrasyona benzer bir entegrasyon getiriyorlar. Bu sayede ofiste bu tip ürünleri kullanabilir hale geliyorsunuz. Ve metni müziğe çeviren yeni bir yapay zeka da tanıtıyorlar. Sandbox diye. Bütün bunların yanı sıra dün ChatGPT'nin sunduğuna benzer şekilde cep telefonunuzla, görüntüyle, sesle, metinle anlaşabiliyorsunuz. Bu Omni iletişim platformu buraya da geliyor. Oldukça etkileyici orada örneklerde bulunuyor. Google kendi yeni donanımlarını da açıkladı bu arada. Yeni GPU'lar, TPU'lar, CPU'lar geliştirdiklerini söyledi. Bu biraz Nvidia'yı sesini düşürdü. Ama öte yandan Nvidia'da işbirliklerine devam ettiğini ve Nvidia'nın yeni mikro çiplerini yakın zamanda boot üzerinden tüketicilerin emrine sunacaklarını söylediler. Ama bence esas bombayı patlattıkları yer yeni yapay zeka çözümünün doğrudan doğruya Android telefonların işletim sistemine gömülüyor olması. Bu dün gördüğümüzden daha farklı çözümler önüne açıyor. Çünkü hatırlayın OpenAI bir aplikasyon sadece iOS'un üzerinde çalışan. Bunlar ise doğrudan doğruya işletim sistemi içine gömmüşler. Bu da hem daha güvenli hale getiriyor sistemi hem hızlandırıyor. Çünkü merkezi bir server'a bağlı değilsiniz. OpenAI'nin dünkü sunumunda ChatGPT yine gidip merkezi server'a bağlanıyordu. Ve bir yandan da işletim sistemi içinde olmanın getirdiği bazı enteresan uygulamalar da olabiliyor. Mesela en sevdiklerinden bir tanesi bir PDF'i açtı ve o PDF'in içerisine yönelik sorgulama yapabildi doğrudan doğruya. İşte bu işletim sistemiyle olan entegrasyon enteresan sonuçları. Fakat piyasa pek bayılmadı Google'un açıkladıklarına. Google'un hissesi biraz yükseldiyse de dün şu an hafif kırmızıda. Bunun sebebi de hala piyasa Google'un arama motorlarındaki reklam gelirinden bu yeni dünyaya nasıl döneceğini tavanlamamış durumda. Dünkü oyuncakları herkesi sevdiğine eminim. Yapay zeka konusunda Google'un ciddi bir oyuncu olacağı da kesin. Ama muazzam reklama dayalı gelir modeli bu yeni mesela enteresan akıllı arama motoruyla nasıl birleşecek? Piyasa henüz bunu anlamış değil. Google'un zaten kendi içindeki döngüsü de bu. Şimdi lütfen sizler için Türkçe altyazı eklediğim videoyu mutlaka izleyin. Geneli hakkında bir fikir sahibi olacaksınız. İlerideki günlerde Google ve Apple OpenAI işbirlikleri arasındaki rekabet konusunda epey çok anlatacağımız şey olacak. Welcome to Google I.O. It's great to have all of you with us. More than 1.5 million developers use Gemini models across our tools. You're using it to debug code, get new insights and to build, build the next generation of AI applications. We've also been bringing Gemini's breakthrough capabilities across our products in powerful ways. We'll show examples today across search, photos, workspace, Android, and more. Today, we have some exciting new progress to share about the future of AI assistants that we're calling Project Astra. Building on our Gemini model, we've developed agents that can process information faster by continuously encoding video frames, combining the video and speech input into a timeline of events, and caching this for efficient recall. Tell me when you see something that makes sound. I see a speaker, which makes sound. Do you remember where you saw my glasses? Yes, I do. Your glasses were on the desk near a red apple. <laughs> what can I add here to make this system faster? Adding a cache between the server and database could improve speed. What does this remind you of? Schrodinger's cat. Today, I'm excited to announce our newest, most capable generative video model called VO. <laughs> VO creates high quality 1080p videos from text, image, and video prompts. It can capture the details of your instructions in different visual and cinematic styles. You can prompt for things like aerial shots of a landscape or a time lapse 
and further edit your videos using additional prompts. You can use Vio in our new experimental tool called Video FX. We're exploring features like storyboarding and generating longer scenes. Vio gives you unprecedented creative control. Core technology is Google DeepMind's generative video model that has been trained to convert input text into output video. <laughs> it looks good. We are able to bring ideas to life that were otherwise not possible. We can visualize things on a time scale that's 10 or 100 times faster than before. Today, we are excited to announce the sixth generation of TPUs called Trillium. Trillium delivers a 4.7x improvement in compute performance per chip over the previous generation. It's our most efficient and performant TPU today. We'll make Trillium available to our cloud customers in late 2024. Alongside our TPUs, we are proud to offer CPUs and GPUs to support any workload. That includes the new Axion processors we announced last month our first custom ARM-based CPU with industry-leading performance and energy efficiency. We are also proud to be one of the first cloud providers to offer NVIDIA's cutting-edge Blackwell GPUs available in early 2025. One of the most exciting transformations with Gemini has been in Google Search. In the past year, we've answered billions of queries as part of her search generative experience. People are using it to search in entirely new ways and asking new types of questions, longer and more complex queries, even searching with photos, and getting back the best the web has to offer. We've been testing this experience outside of labs, and we are encouraged to see not only an increase in search usage, but also an increase in user satisfaction. I'm excited to announce that we will begin, will begin launching this fully revamped experience AI overviews to everyone in the US this week, and we'll bring it to more countries soon. Say you're heading to Dallas to celebrate your anniversary, and you're looking for the perfect restaurant. What you get here breaks AI out of the box, and it brings it to the whole page. Our Gemini model uncovers the most interesting angles for you to explore, and organizes these results into these helpful clusters. Like you might never have considered restaurants with live music or ones with historic charm. Our model even uses contextual factors, like the time of the year. So since it's warm in Dallas, you can get rooftop patios as an idea. And it pulls everything together into a dynamic, whole-page experience. You'll start to see this new AI-organized search results page when you look for inspiration, starting with dining and recipes, and coming to movies, music, books, hotels, shopping, and more. I'm going to take a video and ask Google, why will this not stay in place? And in a near instant, Google gives me an AI overview. I guess some reasons this might be happening and steps I can take to troubleshoot. So it looks like first, this is called a tumor. Very helpful. And it looks like it may be unbalanced and there's some really helpful steps here. And I love that because I'm new to all this, I can check out this helpful link from Audio-Technica to learn even more. And this summer, you can have an in-depth conversation with Gemini using your voice. We're calling this new experience live. Using Google's latest speech models, Gemini can better understand you and answer naturally. You can even interrupt while Gemini is responding, and it will adapt to your speech patterns. And this is just the beginning. We're excited to bring the speed gains and video understanding capabilities from Project Astra to the Gemini app. When you go live, you'll be able to open your camera so Gemini can see what you see and respond to your surroundings in real time. Now, the way I use Gemini isn't the way you use Gemini. So we're rolling out a new feature that lets you customize it for your own needs and create personal experts on any topic you want. We're calling these gems. They're really simple to set up. Just tap to create a gem, write your instructions once, and come back whenever you need it. We've embarked on a multi-year journey to reimagine Android with AI at the core. And it starts with three breakthroughs you'll see this year. 
First, we're putting AI-powered search right at your fingertips, creating entirely new ways to get the answers you need. Second, Gemini is becoming your new AI assistant on Android, there to help you anytime. And third, we're harnessing on-device AI to unlock new experiences that work as fast as you do while keeping your sensitive data private. One thing we've heard from students is that they're doing more of their schoolwork directly on their phones and tablets. So we thought, could Circle to Search be your perfect study buddy? Let's say my son needs help with a tricky physics word problem, like this one. My first thought is, oh boy, it's been a while since I've thought about kinematics. If he's stumped on this question, instead of putting me on the spot, he can circle the exact part he's stuck on and get step-by-step -step instructions, right where he's already doing the work. Now, we're making Gemini context-aware, so it can anticipate what you're trying to do and provide more helpful suggestions in the moment. In other words, to be a more helpful assistant. So, let me show you how this works, and I have my shiny new Pixel 8a here to help me. So my friend Pete is asking if I want to play pickleball this weekend. And I know how to play tennis, sort of. Uh, I had to say that for the demo. Uh, but I'm new to this pickleball thing. So I'm going to reply and try to be funny. And I'll say, uh, is that like tennis, but with uh, pickles? <laughs> um, this would be actually a lot funnier with a meme. So let me bring up Gemini to help with that. And I'll say, uh, create image of tennis with pickles. <laughs> Now, one new thing you'll notice is that the Gemini window now hovers in place above the app so that I stay in the flow. <laughs> OK, so that generates some pretty good images. Uh, what's nice is I can then drag and drop any of these directly into the messages app below, so like so. And now I can ask specific questions about the video. So for example, uh, what is, is, can't type, the two bounce rule? Because that's something that I've heard about but don't quite understand in the game. By the way, this uses signals like YouTube's captions, which means you can use it on billions of videos. So give it a moment, and there. I get a nice, succinct answer. The ball must bounce once on each side of the court uh, after a serve. So instead of trolling through this entire document, I can pull up Gemini to help. And again, Gemini anticipates what I need and offers me an Ask This PDF option. So if I tap on that, Gemini now ingests all of the rules to become a pickleball expert. And that means I can ask very esoteric questions, like, for example, uh, are spin uh, serves allowed? And there you have it. It turns out, nope, spin serves are not allowed. So Gemini not only gives me a clear answer to my question, it also shows me exactly where on the PDF to learn more. Building Google AI directly into the OS elevates the entire smartphone experience. And Android is the first mobile operating system to include a built-in on-device foundation model. This lets us bring Gemini goodness from the data center right into your pocket. So the experience is faster while also protecting your privacy. Starting with Pixel later this year, we'll be expanding what's possible with our latest model, Gemini Nano with multimodality. This means your phone can understand the world the way you understand it. So not just through text input, but also through sights, sounds, and spoken language. Before we wrap, I have a feeling that someone out there might be counting how many times we have mentioned AI today. <laughs> and since a big theme today has been letting Google do the work for you, we went ahead and counted so that you don't have to. That might be a record in how many times someone has said AI. <laughs>